Hey guys, welcome to the Google Hangout video conferencing 2020 update. And today I'm going to show you how to master the Google Hangouts app. I have been a digital marketer for the past five years. And in many cases, I've had to schedule Google Hangout meetings remotely with clients situated all around the world. So today I will be sharing some tips and tricks of how best to manage your Google Hangout meetings. And also I will be showing you how to schedule a Google Hangout meeting, which not many people know of. So there are a couple of ways that you can access Google Hangouts. The best way is just going on to Google and typing Google Hangout web and clicking the first link that is there. The URL of the link is hangouts.google.com web chat start. So as soon as you click on this, you will be directed to the main home screen of the Google Hangouts web application. And from here, you can talk and schedule meetings with your clients or your family or your friends. So there are three main three main ways that you can talk to people through Google Hangouts. The first one is a video call. The second one is a phone call. And the third one is a message. Today, I'm going to be specifically focusing on the video call. As uh, this video is all about video conferencing. So uh, I'm going to be sh I'm going to be showing you how to make a video call instantaneously and then inviting people through it and how to schedule a video call for a date and time in the future. So let's start with how to, uh, how to start a video call instantaneously. So what you can do is just click on the video call button in the middle of the screen. And as soon as you click on it, you will be directed to a video call. So as you can see, you're in a live video call here and for inviting people to it, you have two options. Either you can send them invites by entering their emails. So I will just type some emails that I want to send out invites to, or I can copy a, a link to share. So uh, if I want to send the invite through, let's say a WhatsApp group, or uh, let's say through Slack, I can just copy the link to share and where I, wherever I want to share the invite, I can just paste the invite there and people can access this video call through that invite. If I want to send it through email, I can just type the names here or emails here and click on invite. And the invite will go out through all the email addresses mentioned and people can join through the links. I also want to go out, uh, go go through some options that uh, you have available with you uh, in the video call. You can toggle your microphone between on and off. So if you click on the microphone option at the bottom of the screen, uh, you are muted. Uh, and if you click on it again, then you're unmuted. Likewise is the case for the video. If you click on uh, if you click on it, uh, you will you uh, the video will turn off, and if you click on it, the video will turn on again. Apart from that, you have some other options. For example, you have an option to uh, to chat with people. So uh, in the call, so how you can do that is by clicking uh, on the chat option on the left bottom hand screen uh, uh, available that is available to you. So as you click on this option here, you can send a message to everyone in the call. For example, I want to send good morning. And as I click on that, the options, uh, the good morning message will be sent to all people in the call. And if I want to see the messages, I can just click on show messages and it will show me a history of all the messages uh, that people have sent in the call. 
apart from that i have some other options as well so i uh, if i want to invite more people i can click on invite people here or on the right hand screen uh, of the uh, of the uh, google hangouts application so uh, both clicking on both of these will op open the same pop up which was before and i can send an invite through an email or i can copy the link to share I have some other options as well if I click on the gear icon on the right hand portion of the screen I can uh, change my outputs if I have multiple video cameras multiple microphones or multiple speakers I can toggle between them and choose the uh, device that I want to and uh, post that I can click on done some other options that are available to us is when i click on uh, the options tab at the right hand screen so as soon as i click on that uh, i can share my screen so to share my screen i just click on share screen and i have options between sharing my entire screen and uh, sharing my application window so let's say i want to share my entire screen i click on entire screen and i click on share and you can see that it is sharing my entire screen now and as soon as i, I am done sh uh, sharing my screen and showing the people what i want to show i can just click on stop and it will stop the screen sharing apart from that i can uh, maximize my hangouts video call by clicking on full screen i can chat with people which is the same option that i clicked on uh, here and uh, i can click on help or feedback if I want help on some particular topic or if I want to provide some feedback to Google Hangouts so these are the different options that you can exercise while you're in the call as a participant as and as a host so this is uh, how you uh, join how, how you start a meeting simultaneously and then you invite people and now I'm gonna show you how to schedule a google hangouts call so for that we'll leave this call to leave this call we'll click on the uh, red button in the middle of the screen and as soon as we click on the end call button the call ends and now we are on the home screen of the google hangouts web application now to schedule a video call what we'll do is as we'll navigate to the right hand portion of the screen on the family of google apps and we'll find the calendar application in there and once we find the calendar application we just click on the calendar application which will open the calendar for us and we will try to see which options suit us the most so let's say i want to schedule a call for april the second so i click on that date april the second i see at which time i want to schedule the call so let's say i want to schedule the call at 4 pm so i click on 4 pm i add a title so it's google hangouts call so the time here is given which is april 2nd the date is given which is for uh sorry the time so the, the, the date is given which is april 2nd the time is given which is 4 to 5 pm and uh, for adding guests i can just enter the email ids of the guests uh, that i want to send out invites to and uh once i am done with uh doing that uh what i can do is i can also check their guest availability by clicking on see guest availability so here if i have a permission for their calendars i can also see their calendars and uh, pick up a time which suits all of the guests so after uh, seeing the availability and adding the guests i will click on the next part which is add location or conferencing as soon as i click on this uh, it will give me an option to add conferencing and if I click on add conferencing it will automatically include a Google Hangouts link post that I can add a description so for example I can say test call or I can say whatever the meeting is about and I click on save post that it gives me an option of sending invitation emails to google calendar guests so i would recommend doing this uh, because 
this is how your participants will know that you have a google call scheduled for them so as soon as i click on send uh, my meeting is scheduled for the 2nd of april at 4 to 5 pm and all the invitees have been sent uh, all the all the participants have been sent invitations so to see how an invitation looks like i will just navigate over to an email id through which i just send the invitation and here i can see uh, that i have got an invitation for google hangouts call at thursday the 2nd uh, april at from 4 to 5 pm if i click on this i can rsvp myself i can see yes i will be going uh, I can see the timings over here. Uh, I can see who invited me. I can see the other invitees and I can see the additional description that I just uh, wrote in my while, cre while creating the meeting. We can also see that a link for the video call has been automatically created and uh, whenever I want to join the call, I just click on this link and I will be uh, in the video call so this is how you uh, schedule a google hangouts meeting and uh, send out the invites to participants uh, whom you want whom you want should attend the call so uh, this is the way that uh, you can use google hangouts for uh, your video conferencing needs and these are some of the uh, options that you can exercise in order to eff efficiently manage your google hangouts meeting one thing that i want to uh, remind you and uh, and talk to you about is about the participant limit on uh, google hangouts so uh, there's a maximum of 25 participants that uh that can be there in a call and so if you want to host a call that should uh, that should have more than 25 participants you can use a software known as zoom uh, i will put the link of it at the end of the video so that you can click on that link and also learn how to use uh, zoom where you can have more than 25 participants in a single call so this was uh, the latest updated video uh, uh about google hangouts and uh how you use video conferencing uh, in google hangouts if you uh if you like this video if you found it useful don't forget to uh, hit the like and subscribe button and if you are facing any kind of difficulty with google hangouts just let me know in the comments and i'll get and try to get back as soon as possible signing off keep rocking